Hey there guys, welcome to the first episode of my MQ build. This is a Nissan Patrol MQ. It's a short wheelbase, an 84 model. So let's go around and have a look. So yep, as you can see, it's only a two-door. Um, yep. Got the spare tyre on the back, not underneath. It's not registered at the moment. I'm going to get it registered shortly. Um, yep, let's head in. Okay, I've already started pulling it apart to fix some of the rust holes and all that because there's a bit of rust like here that focuses properly and a few other spots where it's been leaking in. Yep. One of the previous owners has had this as an LGP um, fuel tank in it and that so it runs on gas and petrol. So that's why there's a line there for the gas to get into the tank. Yep. This is one of the higher trim models because it has AC and rear demisters plus the nicer steering wheel. Yep. Let's go have a look underneath the bonnet. This is the engine bay. Right now, it's got a twin carb setup. I've got a single one to replace it with these from these two since they're not running too good and I'm not going to rebuild them. It's an L28 engine, makes 88 kilowatts factory, probably a bit less now. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of mess, especially on the battery. A lot of the wires just don't go anywhere now. I'm going to fix all that up, make it nice and clean, give the engine bag a nice wash. I've got a also, one sec, right here, like a lot of the fuel lines have cracked, and like some of the other hoses and that. So I've got to replace all of them. I've got to remove some of the like that. I'm pretty sure that's from the previous spotlights which no longer work and I've already taken them off. So I can take that off also. And there's a few other things like right there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's when it used to be running on LPG and that. So I'm going to remove all of that. Yeah. Okay, we're underneath the rear of it now. So that's the rear diff. As some of you may have noticed, it doesn't have the fuel tank right here. Since they went to gas, they put in a small, only 40 litre tank right there. So, luckily for me, I bought a second one with this, and it has a fuel tank. So, hopefully, it's in good enough condition that I can take it out and put it in. So, I can go back from, go from a 40 litre to an 85 litre. And get some range back but there's lots of wires and everything here that I've got to clean up remove what I can and like there's these um, brackets that I've had the tank on for the gas I've got to get rid of them and I've got to weld up that hole right there plus there's a couple other holes that should not be underneath here yeah that's going to be a part of another video So yeah, that's my MQ. At the moment, all I'm going to do is fix the rust and a few other things like needs new sway bar bushings and I've got to tune the carby. Um, after that, I put it on Club Rego, which I might make a video on. Just why you should put it on Club a vehicle on Club Rego or not. I'll have to think about that. Yeah, um, then after that, I wouldn't mind putting new seats in. The seats are not too comfortable for long journeys. Um, I might put a new engine in, do an engine swap. Um, I wouldn't mind to do some custom side steps and that, and maybe a rear bumper. 
Um, there's a the filler for the gas. I wouldn't mind to um, turn that into like a little water tank. So, you know, if you go to the beach, you can wash your feet off. And, yeah, maybe a roof rack. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.